I'm Griffin Post and I'm a professional skier. You're just making guesses on what you think the terrain's gonna be like, what the snow conditions are gonna be like. And when that guess is validated and all that planning paid off, you know, that's the reward. We use a lot of different transportation methods when we're going out in the field. How you're getting around really dictates what you're planning to do. I'm going out for a day ski touring. I know I'm going to be moving slow, getting a lot of feedback from the mountains. Sledding versus a day ski touring, you're probably covering 10 times as much terrain. So you're exposing yourself to 10 times as much variability in where you're going and the problems that you're going to see. On those mechanical trips, be diligent about feeling the snow and getting that feedback from the mountains every time you stop. I think that'll keep like pretty much all that slough directed. Like. I look at Onyx to see the type of terrain that we're gonna be getting ourselves into. You're probably gonna cross under some area that you need to be on your game and looking out for one another. Make sure to you know drop a pin and reset before we get into that terrain. Easy to get up on some of these. Mm -hmm. Every day when we're out in the mountains, we're looking for the five red flags. Rapid snowfall, wind, heating, whooping and cracking, and recent avalanches. When I'm trying to address these potential problematic areas on Onyx, I'm looking for historic slide paths, those areas where trees have been wiped out. Yes, our sled ride in. Using Onyx to be able to mark these areas and anticipate them allows you to move through the mountains faster and safer and overall just have a much tighter program.